Greetings and salutations. I'm Keb, and welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Colonization, where we are playing the English. We just settled down our first colony, we're gonna set down another one, and the Spanish are being raided. Oh dear, they're caravel, starting caravel got damaged. The Spanish AI tends to be underperforming in this game, quite frankly. Ask to speak with the chief. More sugar planters. And again, they tell us something nearby lands. Not what I want to know about. You're gonna go up and become a sugar planter, and you are going to settle here. Plymouth. There we go. More liberty belts. More. And also more uh, crosses, because now we have two colonies producing crosses. See, have we found any of the other colonies yet? I mean, they should be near here. All Arawak land. This is New England. Usually it ch changes ownership when a unit marches in to a terrain. So I'm not sure why we have gained own or so-called ownership over that area. Nah, that's fine. Soon we should get you know, to the Soto. Soonish. I'll keep just go keep going to visit the Indian villages and try to extort them for cash. Oh boy, the Spanish succeeded. Maybe this game will be the one where, where Spain actually runs away. They burned the Iroquois capital, and they plundered eight hundred worth of treasure. It'll take a galleon to get it back. And since they took the capital, the, the regression reset. How can we get 11 sugar for free? <sighs> Let's visit. There we go, we became a master sugar planter. So, what to do now? Well, there's the capital there. Should visit. Give us money, please. More sugar planters. Just 72. That was piddly. Okay, so we have another colonist. Until we get more people, I'd... he's not really needed here. And then there's the criminal. I could have made him into a preacher, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make him into a farmer. I need to keep... Let's see. These two have to stay here, no matter what. I can send the preacher... I'm going to make the preacher a colonist. Yeah, we're going to make both of them colonists. And I'm going to send them up to Plymouth. And we're gonna see if we can do the same thing we're doing down doing down there. Oh wait, they need a food square for that. Okay, sir, you Oh no, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna go there, and there, and you're gonna be a pioneer. Take the tools. So even if he has a profession, he doesn't lose it. He equips tools and stuff. There we go, they got the treasure back. 800 ducats. Oh, yeah. I've been playing E4. You can tell <laughs> I said ducats instead of anything else. 800 gold. It's been ingrained. Ingrained in me. Anything money, that's ducats. So, we have some sugar. We'll bring all of that stuff home. And get a little bit of money out of it. And there's a native there. It's blocking our path. That's not nice. So we'll talk to that chief. And they didn't give us anything at all. Hmm. I'm gonna send this guy up to become a fisherman. 
and I want you two to go up to Plymouth. One of them is going to clear down a tile, probably... Yeah, I don't know, probably that tile. Because we need a food tile. While we wait for a docks to be constructed. The price of sugar has gone up, cloth goes up. Master gunsmiths. Now they aren't useful in the early game. I lack any ability to make guns. So, let's see, we can explore a bit further. Let's move our colonists. Since these guys didn't give us anything... Yeah, that's what I suspected. There is a colony nearby here. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't what I intended to do, but... Oh well. The arrow keys are a bit sensitive, it seems. So that's New Amsterdam. They, they've clearly visited one town already. Oh, we could recruit... another one. Okay, we have two choices. We can try to save up money, because we will need to purchase a galleon at some point. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save up the money. Yes. Well, there we go. Hernando de Soto joins the Congress. Hernando de Soto, 1500s to 1542. Ruthless Spanish conquistador who led the first European expedition into the southeastern areas. North America. He landed in Florida and explored much of the Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. With the Soto, results from Apple exploring lost city rumors are always positive, and all units have an extended sighting radius. And that's definitely why we want him early. Okay, we're gonna go and visit meeting fellow Europeans. Greetings, Conquistador Camp, and welcome to New Netherlands. We have just reclaimed all of this land in the name of the Stadtholder of the United Provinces of the Netherlands, and we are here to build a mighty overseas trading empire. Please do not interfere with this God-given mission. Uh, no, he's also asking us that we withdraw all military units. That's basically our scout. No, our forces will stay. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll agree. We'll have peace with you. Going peace, Dutch problems. We did have a... There is... Oh, there was a rumor over there. Uh, we want to chop down that one, I think, yes. Why not? And if you saw that, they have a merchantman. That's a better ship. So they're better at exploring. Mm, let's see, which one do we want next? William Penn will, William Penn will boost cross production, so he's pretty good for us. Coronado is interesting because he'll reveal where all the European colonists are, but that, that isn't really important to us. Minuit will give us all Indian land. That is near our borders, and that's three squares at the moment. And that's pretty nice. The advisor we really want is Fernando Cortez. But Cortez is a military advisor, and right now we have Paul Revere there. We could, of course, take him and just plow our way through all the advisors. Uh, For Penn, we really need churches built already. Now we'll go with Minuit. We'll get the provinces there. Let's see, can I pass that with just two movement? I don't think so. I think that costs three movement. So we'll visit the Indian village here. 
and they've already been visited, apparently. Unfortunate. Alright, I forgot to put you to work. Just go here and now we can switch you around. Let the other guy farm. Oh, maybe I should cut that one down then. It has a high food yield. He has a better ship, as you saw there. The Dutch start with a merchant man. Those ships are just playing better. And there's a rumor there. Let's go for it. Oh, we, he went allowed. Took too much movement speed. That's unfortunate. So now we're a bit bogged down. We're gonna grab that one and then the one up there. Just deny the Dutch all rumors. Plymouth is starting to get a lot of goods. Okay, we have the Soto. Just 46, okay. Not the most positive outcome. Um, the fisherman is gonna go back here. Once he's done. And I really want to get this colony started now. So we're gonna abandon Liberty Bells in favor of carpentry. You are going to build a lumber mill. And this guy is just gonna sit in the colony and make food. That's fine. And now they're getting alarmed. As you can see by the exclam exclamation point. The colony is growing so much that they're becoming a bit concerned. And the Spanish are being attacked again. They are apparently decided to kill the rest of the Araqua. Oh boy. Taxes. Death and taxes. Conquistador Keb. The ungrateful attitude of the colonists in New England makes us ill. We have therefore decided to teach them proper respect for their sovereign by imposing a new stamp act. Raising the tax rate by 6%. The tax rate is now 6%. If you wish, you may kiss your, our royal pinky ring. Uh, and the alternative is to hold the Jamestown food party, which basically means we dump all our food and we can never trade food again with England. For now though, we'll just accept it, because otherwise he'll, he'll be... Otherwise the king will be upset, and that is not a good thing. And the taxes will keep increasing, so it'll only get worse. For now, though, we just have to try to grow our colony. There we go, Master Fisherman. There are four traits that you need to learn from the Indians. That's planting sugar, sugar planting, and there's cotton planting, and there's tobacco planting, and there's the, the fur trapper. Those four. And once you have one colonist with that specialty, Things get better. Okay, the Spanish burn in Harqua village. Oh boy. The Spanish seem to have gained quite a bit of traction. The way they're doing. Another free colonist. That's good. Ship is now on the way. No, no, no. Not attack the Arawaks. Gonna move up here. I think... The new guy is going to get horses while in Europe. Gonna make another scout. Want to explore as much as possible now that we have have the Soto. So this is actually ocean apparently. Uh, we'll pick up that rumor. Whoa! You have found one of the seven cities of Sibula. Treasure worth 5,800 gold unearthed in the ruins. It'll take a galleon to get this treasure back to Europe. Oh boy. Now then, how to navigate that one safely through, through Indian territory? They shouldn't attack it, 
but you never know. These are the Arawak, and they are not exactly peaceful. We'll have to chance that. Um, this guy is going to be yeah, equipped with horses. So now he'll be a scout right off the bat. Do we want to recruit more people? Purchase anything? Because right now we... No, we are not going to bring anything else. We're going to bring him over. Now we have a big treasure. If we can get that back to this town, the king will offer will offer uh, the ability to ship it for us. I'm not sure we want to have him offer it though. Because if he ships it, he'll take a good chunk of the treasure. If we have a galleon or a Cortez, we'll be able to freight it for much cheaper. Expert farmers. And he'll also share the land, okay, that's fine. there and try to cross into the river. Oh, don't attack us now. Go away. Go away, please. Move it away. Good, good. And let's see, we visited them, but not them. Oh, he's there. Well, that makes it very difficult to march over there. Let's visit this village. More farmers. And we're now seeing a lot of uh, dense, uh, what, are, what are they called, Borean forests. Let's move there. Good, no Indians nearby. Yeah, the, uh, these are mixed forests. And that indicates this is the northern part of the continent. So there are probably no one else north of here. Mr. Map, let's see. Uh, view. Not European status. Train information. It, oh, which one is it? There must be a map here somewhere. Uh, terrain information. Religious, continental labor. Isn't there a way to see the whole map? Uh, conversation score, call, call in advisor... Uh, I don't know if there is. Terrain information is basically clearing the terrain, I think. Oh, right, that's what it does. Show what the individual bonuses are. Um, what pieces is that? It's zoom level. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's the whole world. So we are here. There's a lot of mixed forest there. Okay, so there might be one north of us and one south of us. Mm, that, that's what it looks like. Settled there, okay, that's fine. 16 sugar. They gave us sugar. So now we have a new scout. We have to train him though. Because he's untrained. He's rubbish at his job. Mm, we're going to. I'm gonna lose the movement if we move into that square. Let's visit the village first. Oh right, we visited that one already. Oh, dough. Let's move across the mountains. Still no natives. We'll try to move it south here. Sneak our way around that village. Oh boy. So there's a native there. Let's see, let's visit this one. Oh, your expedition happens upon strange burial mounds. Let's search for treasure. Stay clear of those. I believe... Well, if you search for treasure, you risk upsetting the natives in the area. That's basically the idea. 
but I believe having the Soto means that it'll always be positive. That's what the tooltip says. So I don't think we'll trigger something disastrous if we search for treasure, so let's do that and see what happens. Incredible treasure worth 4,000 gold. It'll take a galleon to get this treasure back to Europe. And no messages from very, very upset natives, so I guess they aren't upset. Quite a few expert farmers, and apparently that's the northern end of the continent. Because we only could only see water there. Um, this guy is going to move south. Let's visit the village. I'm not sure. There is a possibility that they'll... Oh, he wouldn't. There is a possibility that they'll upgrade your scout. <sighs> what do we do here? We we'll move away from him, closer to the village. I mean, we'll have to chance this. And there's this treasure. So many Indians. We'll see if we can move it through here. I hope they never attack our treasures, but you never know. They might. And that would be very sad for us. Look at all this timber. So much spare timber. Let's see, we visited that one. There's water there. Okay, so let's move there. He's going to go into Plymouth. He's gonna go south. I have to go south here and hope that they... I'll just have to march through and hope they don't attack us. If I had a galleon, it would be so much easier, but that's because then I can just sail up and pick up the treasures. I'm just dreading the message whenever I see them move. Suddenly they'll say, oh, Arabax attacking. Jamestown Colony produces lumber mill. Zoom to colony. That'll help us convert timber into hammers, which you can build stuff with. I don't, not, you'll be able to build stuff faster now. That's why I wanted the lumber mill first. Next up, we're going to build docks, which allows us to fish. Okay, this guy reach the colony. He can't fish yet, so we'll just stick him here for now. And there's this one. He should be able to explore them without causing a ruin because of the Soto. We ha you happen upon the desperate survivors of a former colony. In exchange for badly needed supplies, they swear allegiance to England. So we got a free colonist. Uh, what's the fastest route? Probably here and across, or down there and across there. We'll try to move him in defensive terrain. And again, a free colonist, so you might as well move him up. the French. Welcome to New France. We have just reclaimed all this land in the, in the name of this most Christian majesty, King Louis. King Louis. And we are here to promote the greater glory of France. Please do not interfere with this God-given mission. Yes, let's have peace. Go in peace, English brothers. 
Here's the problem. He's exploring. And that means he's... going for the treasures. So let's see. Go back. He's landed there. We need to be careful. There's one treasure here, so we'll have to see where that guy goes. If he's marching south, I will grab the treasures here before I turn north. We have the advantage of speed. Oh, he's moving north, north again. Good. In that case, we'll pursue him and just talk to all the villages near near their colonies, just in case they haven't done so already, because they'll only give gifts to the first one who talks to them. 800 gold now. We have some choices here. We can recruit more colonists. Or we can wait until we have a ship. I'd rather have the galleon, so we need to save up to 3,000 gold. And to do that, we really need to lock out with the natives. Oh boy. He's built a huge road network here. And there's a rumor down there. We want to see if we can pick that up. Master Fur Traders. Master Fur Traders. That's that's pretty awesome. That's a high-end. High-end profession to be given. Um, seasoned Scouts. That's wonderful, because then he gives us guides. We gladly welcome you to the, our camp. In honor of the strange tales you have shared with us, the Apache will, shall provide you with the guides to aid your passage to the, through our lands. And that means these scouts become seasoned scouts. That's the advantage of going around with an untrained one. Unskilled labor for, for the win. Okay, so now we know that both the, both the Dutch and the French are on the same continent as us. And that means that the Spanish are south of us. Oh boy, what the heck are they, are they doing? Look at that long road. So they land a city here and they have another city way up north. We'll have to investigate that. Let's see, where are you moving? You move there, closer to the city. We have to hurry up and take that rumor. My rumor. Mine. 375 gold. Okay, he still has some tools. Mm. We will chop down another forest square here. And he's now become a season scout. So let's send him further south. Hopefully these won't be attacked. We have hopes. The Arawak are known for sudden attacks, unfortunately. I'm a bit nervous about that one. As he's following our guy. Okay, let's see. Did we visit that? Yes, we visited that one. So let's move north and talk to that city. Fur traders, and they'll also tell us nearby lands. Oh, the French are out in numbers. That's not what I want to see this early. Let's talk to the Apache here. Fur trappers. They also tell us more of nearby lands. That's fine. Colony that someone's almost home. Oh, Indians. And we could move out of the way. Uh oh. Okay, we could send them out to be trained. But not yet. Next turn, there'll be a docks here. That'll be good. Then we can fish. He moves away. What about the Arawak? Good, good, good. That means we're gonna get at least one treasure home. And we... We finished the docks. Now we can fish. And that is more food. So now we doubled our food production. Four extra food. If we gather up to 
200 food, we get we get a new colonist. And what's to, to build next? I think a warehouse. Warehouse or a wagon train. You know what? Let's go with a wag wagon train. Wagon train allows us to set up trade routes. They allow us to basically haul goods, and spare our ships some tra travel time. So the French are up here. Let's visit that one. More fur trappers, and they gave us gold. I'm gonna visit that one. No, we couldn't. And there's this one. We could not move into the mountains, unfortunately. Where did this... Oh, that's the one we freighted in right now. Okay, we're gonna make you a creature, and we're gonna make you a farmer. There we go. We actually need to generate more Liberty Bells. Again, I'll just say a silent prayer. Please don't attack. more goods home in a desperate bid to make money so let's see that's a coastal one yes definitely a coastal one uh, how much more do we have do they have over here the Cherokee welcome us 14 villages yes we'll live in peace to speak with you, expert ore miners. And they gave us 920 gold. Yes! What do we find here? Desperate survivors. Oh, we see a city that's upset because of some Spaniards. Here we go. We can send him home. Basically, the king says, We'll help you treasure the we'll help you freight the treasure home, but we want a royal share, which is basically nearly all the treasure. No, I would sooner kiss your royal pinky ring. And the reason for that is that either we'll get Cortez and then he'll freight those for free, or we will buy a galleon, and we get, we're getting close to it, and then we only need to have to pay the actual tax rate, rather than a um, vastly bigger sum. But this huge income we'll have to wait for the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode.